Hey everyone, Christian Bates here with Longevity Power and the Bay Area Spring Water Wild Food and Vitality Meetup Group. I'm filling up here at Red Rock Beach Spring. The most wonderful spring in Marin County because it's both epic deep mountain water and right by the roads. So, you know, we can park our car right up to it. Well, I finally, after drinking this water for nearly four years, have gotten a full lab analysis. And here are the lab results. Hey everyone, so I have the full panel test results for the Bay Area's very own Red Rock Beach Spring water. Now, the results came back good. <laughs> I'm so glad nothing weird showed up. Um, but people have been drinking this water for years, so I, I really had a lot of confidence in the water anyways. It felt right, it tasted right. Anyways, so let's look at uh, some of the things that stand out. Calcium was 4.2 parts per million, which is relatively low. A lot of higher um, TDS or total dissolved solids, uh, higher hardness type waters, or higher alkalinity waters will have a lot more calcium, which might be good, um, but maybe not good all the time to have that much calcium. 4.2 is very low. Magnesium is 4.01. That's also um, relatively low. Silica, 14.2 parts per million. Um, I think that that's not low but it's um, notable and probably a good thing. I'm um, having a little extra silica. I don't know how bioavailable silica is when it's dissolved in spring water the way this is. Um, I don't think it's gonna be as powerful as a silica, say, supplement or the silica that you get in, say, a horsetail extract, but um, I think it's great. Sodium is 17 parts per million. That's kind of what I expected because the water is naturally soft and soft water can have a sodium content um, hard water is often treated with salt added to make it not taste or feel on the skin as hard the salt softens it total dissolved solids is 80 now we've tested tested this spring in the past we're using a few digital TDS meters and it's always tested at 61 or 62 so because it's 80 parts per million, that wasn't the best news ever. The lower, lower TDS your spring is, it's kind of better. Anything under 100 is good for daily drinking. Anything over 100 parts per million becomes a much harder water and is maybe won't feel as hydrating to you. Anything above 250 parts per million is technically called a mineral water. And if you drink a lot of that day in and day out, you probably get a headache. Mineral waters are more of a therapeutic water, a water that you'd have on occasion, but you wouldn't use as your staple water. So 80 parts per million um, with a soft water is still good, it feels good. There are springs out there that have a TDS of 20, 10, or even four parts per million, which is extremely low. Drinking this water as my staple water, I would love to travel more and jump to springs that have a very low TDS. Um, I'm gonna go to Maine this summer. I like to go to Maine a lot. And I know there's some springs that are much lower TDS. And that's gonna be a good thing for my body to kind of balance out the 80 parts per million. But for all the local people in the Bay Area, I think that you, I personally feel really comfortable with 80 parts per million, especially since those parts per million aren't calcium. Like if it was 80 parts per million, and most of it was calcium, then you'd be dealing with an alkaline water. Now speaking of pH, acid versus alkaline, the pH of this spring is apparently 6.0, which is a little more than slightly acidic. The national standards by the uh, EPA say that ideal drinking water is between 6.5 to 8.5 pH. Now 8.5 is very alkaline. Uh, anything above 8 is actually very alkaline water. A lot of information has pointed to that slightly acidic water is the best. 
And strangely, we've tested the water using digital pH meters. And in the past, over testing at different times of year, it's come up as 6.7 to 6.9 pH, slightly acidic. And that range is what um, a lot of the kind of spring connoisseur watch, like not chemists, but like water alchemists have always said is the most hydrating pH. The idea that we should be on this alkaline water kick is turning out to be totally false. Alkaline water works um, maybe therapeutically in a short time to create some kind of buffering in the midst of um, disease, but in the long run, having a slightly acidic water will be the most hydrating and will not impart an acidic body. And an alkaline water will not necessarily make you more alkaline or balance the acidic forming substances you consume in your diet. So a pH of 6.0 is notable. It's really the most notable thing out of um, the whole test. I would love to test this again maybe six months from now um, and, and see what the pH tests again because I almost question the pH on this one. I, I wonder if the bottle, they gave me several bottles to fill up for and each bottle is for a different set of things to test for. I'm wondering if the bottle had any kind of, either the cap had any kind of slightly acidic thing that was put into the water. Chloride is 31 parts per million. Um, I talked to the, a person at the um, analysis center and they said that chloride uh, can be naturally occurring in, in aquifers. Nitrate is 4.1 parts per million. The national standards for nitrates um, ma maximum is, is 10 parts per million. Um, people consider that if there's 10 parts per million nitrates in your water, that's already a dangerous level. Uh, 4.1 is is notable. Uh, I don't know where that's coming from. He said that it could naturally be occurring um, in in the water. Nitrates usually come from farm and sewage runoff. But if you go up Mount Tamalpais, which is where which is the mountain that feeds this spring, um, above the spring, there's like no one living there. But if you get closer to the top, there are a few ranger stations and kind of park uh, pullout areas. I, I certainly, I just don't know yet. You know, I'm, I'm not concerned um, about the nitrates. Sulfate, uh, 5.8 parts per million. That, um, that's, that sounds good. Naturally occurring um, sulfur content is, is fine. And then everything else is none detected. So, you know, we tested for like all the major pesticides and volatile organic compounds and heavy metals and PCBs and all of that was none detected so I, I am just really excited actually about this um, result it, it's it was I was very pleased no coliform bacteria detected just really really uh, good news news that X uh, suspected anyways it costs $175 plus shipping to get the test. I then fill all the bottles up exactly as directed and, and all the bottles are put into this styrofoam kind of package thing. And then you have to overnight it, which cost me $91. Uh, uh, one local gentleman uh, contributed to the cause, uh, a friend of mine who is at the spring like every day hanging out at the beach and uh, is, is a person who um, has actually helped um, build up and, and box springs at Harbin Hot Spring in the past so I, I appreciated his, um, his small contribution. I kind of decided that this would be somewhat sponsored by my company Longevity Power since I'm able to now you know use this as, as a way of um, being out there on, on the internet and, and being a leader for the Bay Area um, spring water connoisseurs. This is definitely also sponsored by our meetup group, the Bay Area Spring Water Wild Food and Vitality Meetup Group. I invite you to join. We'll have um, many um, events with that throughout this year. 
And thanks so much for um, for everybody who who has just been really excited about um, and, and constantly asking when are the results going to come back because it's been a few weeks since I, I tested it. Have the best time whenever you go to a spring and please go to a spring. You always meet the coolest people there. And even on days when no one's there, you have it all to yourself. Uh, whatever, whatever, whether you're in the Bay Area or whether you're anywhere where there's um, a really uh, vital spring for you to fill up at, whether you have to drive 10 minutes or whether you have to drive three hours, it's totally worth it every single time to put the number one nutrient into your body, which is high quality water. And the highest quality water is low TDS spring water. Do you like our garden? Mm.